and I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka. Madam President, thank you for giving me the floor. Sri Lanka gives high priority to the strict application of laws against production, distribution, and possession of illicit manufacture and trafficking in synthetic drugs. It must be accepted without demur that easy access to such illicit drugs leads to increased abuse, a threat to public order, and of serious prejudice to national security. We cannot at any cost compromise in any way our policies against illicit manufacture of and trafficking in synthetic drugs if we are to seriously address the menace of drug abuse. Our legal systems must be encouraged to respond in the strictest of manner to the issue of drug abuse and those engaged in the illicit trade and marketing of such illicit drugs. We recognize, however, that even the laws against drug abuse must be clear, fair, and predictable, and have due regard for the rule of law. We must speak in one voice if we are to safeguard our future generations to whom we will hand over this planet. In that process, we must hand over a sustainable, healthy planet, a democratic government, and a global community of high moral values. We cannot, therefore, accommodate in any form of uh, the use of illicit drugs. With regard to the amendment proposed to PP8 mentioned in the resolution entitled Addressing and Countering the World Drug Problem Through a Comprehensive, Integrated and Balanced Approach, Sri Lanka abstained. My delegation observes that the focus of the resolution had been diluted by provisions that are important but not integral to the matter of addressing and countering the global drug problem. That resolution adopted last year regrettably lacked any mention of the important need for the destruction of the cultivation of any vegetation that provides the raw material for illicit drugs, production, and use. That resolution also lacked any reference to international cooperation between law enforcement agencies responsible for combating the global narcotics problem. However, Sri Lanka voted in favor of the amendment to the PP1 given the importance we attach to the principal objective of combating the industry of illicit manufacture of and trafficking in synthetic drugs. We reiterate the need to strengthen national drugs control measures and the need to strengthen international cooperation to combat the global threat of narcotic drugs in the most effective ma manner. I thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka.